Hello, uh, good day. This is Ahmed Topaz and I am going to talk about the physical modeling and design development of our precast UHP shell bridge. We designed and built this in collaboration uh, by two companies, Atec, uh, my own, and Fibrobeton uh, as our fabricator and um, materials provider, as well as fabrication engineer. The main geometry of the bridge is as follows. It's a 25 meter span with two and a half meter width of pedestrian crossing. We, we actually define the bridge in three main parts, the arch, the walls, and the deck. We will talk about today the development of the one to five scale mockup, the testing of it and investigation of the main arch form. In the Fibrobeton factory, as you can see, we worked hard to make the forms and the casting of the bridge in as, as precise as uh, we can. These are the forms in MDF, uh, bent MDF for the walls, for the wall parts, you can see them here. And these are the forms of it. And this is the main arch. When we milled, the CNC milled the arch, we marked, we marked the post installed anchors and clip locations to be, to be as precise as we can for the installation. And when we installed it in the field, we have, we built these uh, timber abutments. These are both for constraining the, the lateral, the longitudinal thrust of the arch, but also to climb on top of it. We, it was a great study, the one to five scale mockup for precision uh, issues and also for tolerance issues. We have seen that we need to better the connection design and also casting procedure, maybe change the wall design so that it fits perfectly. It, the, the loading, load testing, uh, load testing part was a lot of fun. We part, we tested it two ways, once with uh, cement bags and concrete planks, and also with people, we did a little bit of a jumping up and down vibration test as well. And 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 he, uh, you can see some of us were, were uh, scared, so they didn't jump. But uh, basically it performed really well. And in the, uh, in the test procedures, we loaded up with uh, around 500 kilo kilograms per square meter, and we exceeded a little bit. This final load, is is um, more than uh, 500 kilograms per square meter because the cement bags and the concrete planks needed to be equally spaced and we incrementally loaded it and incrementally unloaded it in the end we have about uh, one millimeter more than we calculated so it was pretty good and we have about four millimeters of residual uh, displacement in the mid span because we believe it was due to the crushing at the abutments of the timber and also the imprecise uh, clip and post-installed anchored uh, movements and crushing maybe at the holes. In terms of creating an algorithm and testing different uh, geometries of the design, we basically invented uh, this ratio of H1 over H2 because this is the main this is the main form finding study of this design the 25 meter span is pretty much uh, given and also the two and a half meter is pretty much given we wanted to play with h1 over h2 to see what is the impact of uh, abutment curvature and the mid span curvature in the stresses and the buckling now you can see we tried a bunch of different variations uh, all all generated uh, in rhino and grasshopper uh, algorithmically and we realized that the the basic 
design that we, we are planning to build the bridge with is in pretty good shape in terms of stress, uh, stress distribution for five centimeters of thickness. And this is also uh, this is also a good ratio for aesthetics because uh, 86 over 50 is around 1.618, which is the golden ratio of aesthetics. These are some stress uh, pictures uh, that show the different levels of stress in different variations of uh, ratio H1 over H2. And uh, we plotted these values for buckling factors and also for stresses. On this slide, you see the plot uh, for the buckling factor versus the H1 over H2. As you can see, once you are over uh, the one ratio, which is the perfect safety for buckling, uh, the, the H1 uh, decreasing, uh, sorry, H1 increasing and H2 decreasing is cr creating very unstable uh, in terms of buck uh, unstable system for buckling because the, the mid-span curvature is really, really important for buckling safety. and compression stresses again it's very interesting results because once you have different variations the uh, different heights in uh, in the curvature in the in, cur in, in curvatures of abutment and mid span you will have stresses distributed differently and tension and compression taking uh, places and swapping itself you can see that in the um, stress pictures as well. So this is the end of my slideshow. Thank you very much.